Hey guys, welcome to another video. This week I'll be using my wood burning tool and it's to transform one of these cork trivets into a nice piece of art for the wall. And getting started, I'm just going to trace something round to get a nice circle that I can use as a starting point for my wood burning design. With the wood burning tool heated up and ready to go, I'm just going to start tracing along that circle. And this circle is going to be the center of a sunflower. As a reminder, all the materials will be listed in the description. As for the wood burning tool that I'm using, it's about the cheapest one that you can find. I have used it on wood before and it's not a quick process. I've been told that you really need to look for a better wood burning tool to get started. It makes it so much easier, but this is the one I have, so this is the one I'm using. And on that note, I'm just finishing up the petals and then adding a couple of details before I move on to the next step. And that next step is creating something that this will hang from. So I've got a piece of rope here and some gel super glue. And I just want to keep the ends from fraying. So I'm just going to glue those together. And I'm using the gel super glue for a few reasons here instead of hot glue. And that's because I don't want this to be noticeably glued together. And the gel super glue gives you a lot of control so that it doesn't run all over the place like regular super glue would. Plus, it dries surprisingly fast, even though it does have a wait time. And overall, it has a stronger hold. I trust it more with this being hung up than I would with hot glue. That's why I'm not only going to use it to secure the ends of the rope, but also to secure the rope to the trivet itself. The last thing I'm going to do to just reinforce the connection between the rope and the trivet is just glue some pins in to hold it in place. And I don't know for sure if this is absolutely necessary since the pins are so thin and small anyway, but I think I couldn't get past the fact that it was cork and thinking of it as like a cork board you stick pins in, so I went through with it anyway. So I feel like I could have stopped here, but I decided to take it a step further and actually use my watercolor paints. So I'm just going to paint this in, making the petals yellow and the center of the sunflower brown. This is actually the first time I've ever used these watercolors, but I absolutely love them. I feel like the coverage is a lot more than what I expected, especially coming from using bottom of the line watercolor tablets. I think this ended up having the effect that I wanted without overpowering the look of the cork, since I didn't really want to cover that up. And that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Check out my other videos if you have a chance. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I hope to see you next week.